I'll have a demonstrator uh, welcome them up to the welcome her up to the stage to show you an example, and she'll tell you about her product-based classes so you can um, learn a lot of how to do them yourself. And then at the very end, after she presents, I'll be back up here to share with you how you can earn a stamp set for free. That sounds pretty cool, right? Let's first talk about the four components of a product-based class. First of all, prepare. You've got to do preparation beforehand. So you might think through a few questions like, when and where will you hold the class? How will you set up the room? What supplies will you need to order beforehand? You need to do that quite a bit before. So these are all the preparations. The next one is projects. What kind of products are you going to feature in your projects? What type of customers will you target? Beginner, casual, avid. You could do different projects within the class and target so there's something for everyone if you want to. Next is people. How will you fill the class with attendees? How are you going to entice new customers to come to your class? And how will you manage RSVPs and payment? The fourth part of a product-based class is profit. How much are you going to charge? How will you generate additional sales during the event? That's something that can be really great. They've already spent their money before. Now they're at the event and um, can um, see some extra things that they need. The next demonstrator that is going to be presenting is from Iowa. So she also has made quite a drive to be here with us today. You saw her up on stage just a few minutes ago in our top performers. Please welcome to the stage, Dina Rico. Well, ladies, are you so excited? How about you, gentlemen? Come on. Well, I think before we get started, it's time to get our stampin' lips on. It's gotta get extra glossy so you can even see it in the cheap seats. All right. So, I am so excited to be stamping with you guys today. Are you over our catalog? Well, that was scary. I was very fortunate to have a little bit of a sneak peek of the products that I'm going to demonstrate when I was at the home office back in May for my million dollar trip. <laughs> So one of the things that you get to do when you go to the home office is you get a product um, sneak of products that are coming out and one of the products that they showed me was the whole mega suite and I seriously was so excited. I really think the only way you can describe this as orgasmic. <laughs> so. When Shannon called and mentioned that I could demonstrate this mega suite, I kind of thought this is my, what it might be. So I was really over the moon, and here's why. So one of the other perks of being a million dollar achiever is that you get to design your own stamp set. And I have loved poppies for many, many years, and I really wanted a poppy set. This is not my million dollar set, by the way. But when I was at the home office and we were talking about my ideas, of course, this was already in the works. It was pretty much done. And so it wasn't a set that I could help design. So my poppies were kind of out the door. So that was a little sad for me. But when she said I could demonstrate them here, that almost made up for it. So I'm very, very excited. Okay. So let me start by sharing with you some of the really great things that you can do with this set for every level of customer that you have. Um, and actually, let me back up and tell you just a second about me. So I've been a demonstrator for 20 years, and I have transitioned my completely in-person business to a completely online business. And in doing so, I just took the things that I was doing in person and started doing them online. So it was a very natural transition for me. 
and I started reaching more and more people and I really enjoyed being able to kind of expand my stamping circle with so many more people across the country and even world, which is so humbling and wonderful. But all of what I do is what I started doing in person. So what I'm sharing with you today is things I do online, but you can do in person or online, whatever works for you. Okay, the other thing that I want to mention is that when we plan classes, I think we often think of the kind of classes that we personally would like to take. And most of us probably want classes that are very much geared towards the avid crafter, right? Yeah, okay. Okay. But our customers are probably not quite at the same stamping skill level that we are, right? So don't forget about those beginning stampers and provide them some really great projects that are easy to do. And what I found is that even our very, very seasoned stampers really enjoy working with those types of projects themselves. They're quick, they're easy, they're fun. There's not a lot of thought that goes into it, so it works out great. So my first projects are definitely going to showcase that kind of thing. So I'm going to start by sharing with you a uh, class that I would run for beginning stampers. And this class is going to be, uh, it's going to be a product-based class. So I would include in it the Peaceful Poppies print designer series paper. I would include a package of the memories and more cards and envelopes from the annual catalog. And then the roll of the new Whisper White crinkled seam binding ribbon. I love that the name is on here so I don't have to remember. Okay, so these memory and more cards are really great because they come in two sizes and they also come with coordinating envelopes. So the prep is very minimal for you. So I would teach my customers how to cut cardstock. I find that is actually a skill not many of them have. So learning how to cut a piece of four by six printed paper, and then all we're gonna do is adhere it to the memories and more cards, so that's pretty easy. So I'll take and put a little glue on here. And I live in the Midwest where you just can't use snail because it's too humid and my cards fall apart. So I love liquid glue. So I'm just gonna place that on here. I have this turned wrong, don't I? Is that better? Okay, so I've adhered my piece of printed paper, and look at how beautiful this is. The paper does so much for you, so it's really wonderful. All right, now I'm going to take, and in prepping for this class, you as the demonstrator, the only thing that you need to do is provide your customers with some pre-die cut pieces. And I would include the two sizes of labels from the frame, or the dies and then they can just stamp their sentiments on here. So the only prep work I have to do is die cutting these pieces for them ahead of time. I also find that die cutting ahead of time allows you to have much smoother classes where people aren't waiting constantly to die cut things and they get out of your house faster that way. Okay, so we'll take some of this new ribbon. Now one of the things you might be aware of when holding a, any kind of class is the inventory status report, right? I mean, I watch that thing like a hawk. So having a little backup plan is a really good thing to do in order to make sure your events run smoothly. So I'm just gonna tie a little bow with this ribbon, kind of like what Shannon showed earlier. We'll snip that off. And then I'm going to adhere it to my card and put that label right over the top. I forgot glue dots, so this mini dimensional will work just fine. Okay, so I'll just put this on here like so, and then I'll pop my label right over the top of it so it's really easy. Okay, so that's my card. It's so simple. Now, coming back.
you back to the inventory status report. Should this ribbon go on back order and not be available when I'm going to hold my event, I can easily switch to something out of the annual catalog that's probably going to be available. So a great substitution is our black satin ribbon. It's really beautiful and it adds a great punch just like this new uh, white ribbon does. So let me show you the cards that I would have. Oh, wait, actually, there's one more thing. Don't forget about the envelopes. So we have these beautiful envelopes that coordinate. So I'm gonna take and decorate my envelope by putting a little glue on here. And then all I have to do is cut it off. Now, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I feel like it's a little bit of a sacrilege to be covering up this gorgeous piece. <laughs> But this one, the other side, coordinated with my cards so nicely, so. And by the way, I thought it was really nice of Stampin' Up! to decorate the entire room um, to coordinate with my presentation. <laughs> okay, so here is my card and envelope, and this is so pretty because of the paper. The paper is the superstar here. All right. So in this class, they can also make these cards. So again, the preparation is very simple. All you're doing is die cutting this piece and then this piece for them, you know, several of each. And then you're going to provide the stamp and the ink. Very simple. So there's one. I've included some of the new sequins that go on here as well. And I use my liquid glue to adhere them. You can even use glue dots. Went like I'm kind of a lazy stamper, so I like glue dots. Here's another piece. This is just a piece of black cardstock that I added behind. So really simple. This one also very simple. I stamped that the po uh, poppy in rich raspberry ink and just smeared it with my aqua painter. That's like professional watercoloring, right? And then this black piece is one of the dies that coordinates with the set as well. And then here you can really jazz it up by adding, there's some clear wake of Stella on here. I'm trying to catch the glimmer in the camera, but it's not quite working, <laughs> but you get the idea. And again, highlighting these papers is so easy to do on these larger sized cards. I would also include some of the smaller cards because of course that comes in the card pack. And so those cards are gonna look like this. And these are really easy because the pieces are three by four uh, of the three by four inches of the DSP, which cuts evenly out of your cardstock as well. And then, if they don't want to use this as their card, they can just put it on a quarter sheet of cardstock, and then they have a full size card, and everybody's happy. Okay, so that's my beginning class. Now, here's another card that's really simple to do, and this is going to be for more of your casual crafter. Or the people who are avid crafters, they buy like avid crafters, but they stamp like casual crafters. You know the type. Okay, so when preparing for this uh, class, I had to take a little um, tip that actually my newest downline member, Chris, uh, shared with us um, at an event recently that I held. She does a lot of um, craft fairs and she's been making those super cute little Kirby Keepsakes mini boxes. And so she's been punching all the little, she's been punching all the pieces so she can assemble them um, at the craft fair while she's, she's waiting. And she put them all in one of these boxes. By the way, if you get it in section, the, the price is much better than if you buy it in the crafting section, just saying. Okay, so what I did is I took and die cut a whole bunch of pieces in different colors from the sets of dies that are included in this mega suite. And then I just put them in this box so that when I went to make cards, it was really easy. I could just pull the different pieces, match them up, and it worked like a charm. So I'm gonna pull a couple of pieces out of here, except they're not in here. I had them, I had them pre ready to go. Okay. 
So on this card, I'm going to start with just a black card base. I have a four by five and a quarter inch piece of Whisper White that has been embossed with the stylish scrolls embossing folders. We'll adhere that to our card. And one thing I love about our liquid glue is if you don't quite get it in the right spot, you can move it around a little bit. All right, and I've cut a piece of white cardstock that I'm going to stamp one of my sentiments. And the great thing about the stamp set is there's so many sentiments to choose from. And it's literally every occasion you really could need, so I love that. Okay. So I'll stamp this at the bottom. And then, like I said, I die cut these two pieces. They were in my box yesterday during rehearsal, just so you know. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little line. Adhere them to the top and the bottom. And by the way, have you guys noticed that our new dies really cut better? Like they're sharper? I love them so much. Just get the last little pieces out of here. Okay, so that looks pretty awesome. I'm going to then take and pop this up onto my card because everything is better popped up, right? My team knows what I'm thinking right now. Okay, so we also have these designer elements and what's really cool is this gives you beautifully colored images without having to do the work of coloring, which is kind of nice when you're in a hurry. They have a colored uh, piece like this. There's also black pieces that are, you know, like shiny. And then there's watercolor printed pieces, which are beautiful. Can you see that? They're like clear embossed on watercolor paper, so you can just paint over them really easily. And then there's also a sheet of vellum images. Okay, so we're gonna take and combine a couple of those pieces to finish up this card really easily. So I'll just pop out a couple of the vellum pieces. I'll pop up my flowers here. Place that right there. Yeah, I didn't bring glue dots, but that's all right. I don't know if you guys knew this, but like two thirds of stamping is improvising. So if you've ever watched any of my Facebook lives, you know that is true. <laughs> all right, and there's my finished card. Okay, let me share a few more examples of cards that I would do with my casual crafters. Okay, so look at that. Now, one thing I really like about doing classes like this is pulling in some other things from the annual catalog so that they have a really good reason to purchase more items from you that day at class. So this is the heirloom frames embossing folder, 3D embossing folder. And then I've done the black and white and I also added some clear wing Estella. You can really see that shine on there. Isn't that beautiful? Of course, I'm also featuring my signature color, Coastal Cabana. It's the color that lets us know God loves us. <laughs> Here's another really simple card. I have used the scripty 3D embossing folder in the background. And then this was one of those black pieces out of those uh, designer elements. And for this piece, I just stamped in memento and colored with my blends. And the nice thing about this too is your coloring skills can be at about a kindergarten level and it'll still look good, so I like that. Okay, now for that class, I would include the stamp set, or, or the uh, Peaceful Poppies bundle, the Peaceful Poppies elements, 
and I would charge $69 for my customers. That's based on my tax rate in Iowa. Now, if I'm offering that class online, I'm gonna add a little bit more for the shipping to them because I'm gonna create the cards, the pre-cut card stock, and then I'll mail that with their bundle. So they can add the bundle if they want to that class. Or actually, they have to add the bundle because it's product-based class. <laughs> When you're on camera, all of your brain power goes away, just in case you weren't sure about that. Okay, now for my avid crafter, I am uh, going to hold a class that is going to be amazing. <laughs> and that class is going to feature samples of the products I've done in my first two classes, but then we're also going to create some really impressive cards, you know? Because I gotta show them that I am a good professional stamper, right? Okay, so for this class, I'm gonna start with some really simple cards like this. I've cut a four by six piece of Whisper White cardstock, and then I've added two pieces of printed paper. Because again, we wanna showcase both sides of that beautiful printed paper. And then I tied the ribbon on here. I did that ahead because you guys know how to do that, right? Okay. Now, I think the thing that avid crafters really like is when you can give them some amazing tips that they might not have seen otherwise. And just like, like you guys as avid crafters, I get avid crafter tips myself. So this one comes from my good friend, Connie Stewart. And she showed me this, I think it was one of her uh, Tuesday tips of the week that she does. I think you probably have seen them, right? Yep. So I'm gonna take my silicone craft mat I squeezed a little bit of liquid glue, and then I have a sponge. This is a sixth of a sponge that I've cut up, and then I'm, I put a binder clip on it, because you know you gotta keep your nails nice, let's be honest. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of even out the ink, or the glue a little bit. I'll put my die cut piece down here. This works for any kind of intricate die cut piece. Got just a little bit of liquid glue on there. You don't need much. And then we're gonna line this up to adhere. And look at, I'm not full of glue. So how awesome is that? Okay. Now to finish this card, and by the way, isn't the black and white so striking? I really, really like that. In preparing for my presentation, I went on Pinterest and uh, looked up different types of poppies, like in real life, actual pictures of them. Because despite the fact that I have a degree in biology, I really am not a green thumb in any way, shape, or form. So I always like to make flowers the colors that are prettiest, not the colors that they actually are. But as it turns out, poppies come in an entire rainbow of colors, including white. So you can do whatever you want. All right, I'll put a couple of dimensionals on the back here. Because like I said, everything is better popped up. We'll tack that on. We'll add our leaves in black, because it goes. I'm pretty sure I could make a, le a leaf black at my house without much effort, but it's supposed to be green, right? No one knows. Okay, then I'm just going to snip off my label and it to my card. So, isn't that beautiful? And who doesn't like a little sparkle? So I love, I think that really makes it pop using the silver glimmer paper. All right, so let me show you a couple more examples. The color that lets us know God loves us. All right, we can throw a sentiment on here though. That'd be fine, right? So whenever I stamp cards, I like to use the sentiments that I need for things. So, you know, one of my team members will probably get this for one of their accomplishments, because it's a really pretty card that says congratulations, so it works, right? By the way, this is kind of funny. So when I got the stamp set, or the bundles, 
they thankfully sent me the catalog pages because I looked at these pieces and I thought, well, what is that? <laughs> no idea. But it was in the sample, so I could figure it out. Okay, here's a few more. Isn't that pretty? This paper is so beautiful, you guys. <laughs> So having all these pre-cut pieces in that plastic divider box is so helpful to make cards quicker, right? Okay, this was another kind of simple but still striking. And then this is kind of like the jewel in my crown, right? Here's that one. Okay, so let me show you how I did the center on this. I'll just take one of my pieces. Oh, look, I found a I told you I had some in here. Okay. Now in the stamp set, there's a couple of pieces. There's this little image here, so I'm just gonna ink that up and stamp it off. And then I'll stamp it in the center of my picture. And it just, it adds a little, I just say the center of my picture, center of my die cut. <laughs> Uh, it just gives me a little bit of color, and then full strength, I'll take that kind of splattery image and just stamp that on there. Now when you layer that up with your die cut piece, it's got a little bit more dimension to it. And then of course the centers just really make everything pop so much. I love the pop of black. And then I just stamped a couple of the leaves at the bottom, so. Okay, now you guys get to stamp with this stamp set, so I'm really excited to show you your make and take. I know, right? you've got a half a sheet of pear pizzazz, or no, poppy parade. It starts with a P, you know what I mean. All right. I'm going to use pear pizzazz, so I'm like almost totally right. All right. Uh, I'm going to take my poppy parade ink. I'm just going to stamp that beautiful poppy kind of all over the background. Doesn't this just make you happy? Okay. Then I'm gonna take some memento. Now, are you guys like me? I have a whole table to work with and I have this much space available. <laughs> the struggle is real. Okay. So I stamped happy birthday on this piece of Whisper White. I left some room at the top because we're going to add a really cool little ribbon piece and then we're going to rip it. Okay, so a, uh, I had a demonstrator on my team named Carmen. She is just the sweetest ever. And she used to make mom a cards for her elderly mom. And if she ever crinkled paper or ripped paper, her mom thought they were like damaged. We always joke about I love you, Carmen. Okay. Pair Pizzazz. We're going to take that white ribbon, and like any good stamper, we're going to make it a different color. So I'm going to take my Pear Pizzazz ink, and I'm just stamping on the ribbon. By the way, can I just show you something? My earrings are poppies. I like to coordinate with my projects whenever possible. Okay, so I've created this really cool speckled pear pizzazz ribbon. So now I'm just gonna wrap it around my project and tie a bow. 
Pray for me while I tie a bow in front of 1,300 people. All right. Luckily, I'm a professional, so this should just be fine. Okay. Oh, I heard you, Don. <laughs> Boom. Okay. It's legit. <laughs> All right. Let's trim that off. Scooch it up. All right, let's come back to our card base. We've got two pieces of printed paper. Now, I'm not gonna tell you which pieces to use, but the ones that match are gonna be the green stripes. <laughs> let's put the glue on the back side of that one. How many times have you done that? All right, now you can get a little creative here. I'm gonna put it at a little bit of an angle and then put this at an angle. Because, you know, we are all here in the creativity to cave, and uh, we do not stifle creativity in the creativity cave. We also don't judge, so you can make them however you want. All right. I think I'm doing pretty good. I've pulled off a lot of dimensional backings successfully today during my presentation. All right. There we go. So this is your make and take. Have fun with it. And thank you guys so much for stamping with me today. I had a great time.